I'm having one of the best adventures of my life, exploring New Caledonia, that delicious slice of France in the South Pacific. New Caledonia is an absolutely spectacular island, as you can see. It's about 400 kilometres long and surrounded by the world's largest natural lagoon. And in the capital city, New Mia, there's heaps going on. Bella, te toucher, mais quand je la vois danser le soir. Soaking up the atmosphere, oh, I just love it. You can shop to your heart's content. There's fashion, jewellery, it's all French, of course. But I'm looking for something that France does really well. Man, mouth-watering pastries. <laughs> I found my spiritual home. Really, it is the hardest thing I find in a French patisserie is just deciding what. But I think I've got my heart set on this millefeuille framboise, the raspberry. Well, it's like a vanilla slice with raspberries. Merci bien. This is for me. This is for later. And you just can't go past the charcuterie or cured meats. Look at these. There's foie gras, pâté. They can all be washed down with something else that France is pretty good at. It's amazing. Food like this really brings back memories for me about all the time I spent in Paris. The pâté, the bread, the wine is a knockout. It's really authentic. It's absolutely fantastic. One of the most exciting places to come and eat here in New Caledonia is a brand new restaurant called Le Trois Chef. Three chefs. One of whom I'm lucky enough to have with me here. Christophe, what makes New Caledonian food so exciting? Um, the New Caledonian cook come from everywhere in the world. But you can find Indian cooking, Japanese cooking, Chinese cook. Every people who come here in New Caledonia, they bring um, the food. Of course, you can't talk about French food without experiencing cheese. And take a look at this. It's absolutely amazing. I am super lucky. I'm here in New Caledonia just in time for the Festival of Cheese. Or as I like to call it, the homage to fromage. See what I did there? Now, that's cheesy. Maître Priard is one of the world's great experts in cheese, particularly French cheese. He travels the world sharing that love with everybody. Monsieur, c'est mon plaisir, ça va? Que du bonheur. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it that French people are so passionate about cheese? Le, le fromage en France, c'est la culture, et il faut pas y toucher. <laughs> Aujourd'hui, il y a certains pays que je ne citerai pas qui veulent entendre. Please <laughs> saying it's all about history and culture. It is the people of France. <laughs> ça, ça c'est uniquement du lait cru. C'est le vrai fromage. C'est, c'est, c'est notre histoire. <laughs> mais non, mais regarde, regarde. So I want to try some cheese. Where would you start me? This is the heart. Yeah, le cœur. It's my heart for the lady. Le cœur. Uh, yes, le cœur. Cœur de Neuchâtel. 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 Well, yes, yeah, from yeah. Normandy. It's <laughs> only for the lady. And I get a slice too. Wow. You, you, you don't have... Wow. In Australia, you, you don't have this one because no. the, the process to make this one is a very special one. If you really want to enjoy French culture, but you don't have time to travel all the way to Europe, here in New Caledonia, you can have the true French experience and it's so close to home. But what about the truly local fare? Coming up, I discover the seafood here is some of the biggest and best in the world. Welcome to New Caledonia.